Hi, uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to create a uh, circular image using a Jetpack Compose. Now, this is how our uh, circular image uh, will look like uh, at the end. So uh, adding uh, different shapes to your uh, image uh, has never been easier. With uh, Jetpack Compose, uh, you will be able to achieve this with uh, only a few lines of code. So let's get started. Uh, now let me here create a new Kotlin file first uh, with the name of a main screen. Let's also create here a new composable function with the same name. And also we can create a preview function as well. So main screen preview. Let's call here our main screen. All right. Now in our main screen, uh, we are going to just uh, call uh, image composable function. Uh, then for the painter, I'm going to choose the one image which I have already added to my resources directory. So r.drawable.image. And for the content description, we can just write, for example, a circular image. Now let's put those arguments on a separate lines. Okay, perfect. We can also open up this preview so we can preview our uh, image uh, from our main screen. Okay, so this is how our image uh, looks like uh, so far. So it has a rectangular shape, of course, because uh, that's uh, its default value. And uh, now let me show you how you can uh, change its uh, shape. So the only thing that you need to do, uh, you need to add here a modifier on your image. So Android X Compose UI. Uh, we can also set the size of this image to be, for example, 300 dp in this example. And after that, we just need to call a clip function. And there we need to specify our circle shape. So now let's try and refresh this preview. Now we have received a circular shape for our image. And it looks uh, very nice. Also, uh, we can just uh, call this uh, main screen from our uh, main activity. So just uh, call this uh, main screen composable function so we can run that uh, in our Android emulator. And we can also add here a box uh, to fill the whole uh, screen size. So just add a modifier, uh, fill max uh, size and inside just a call main screen. Okay, so there we go. This is how now our uh, main screen uh, will look like. If you want to center this on the screen, just add here a content alignment, run that again. And uh, there you go. So now we have successfully changed the shape of our image. And of course, uh, you don't need to use a circle shape if you don't want to. You can also use uh, something like a rounded corner shape. And for the size, you can, for example, add a 50 dp. Now let's uh, run this uh, on our emulator once again so we can check it out. So now we are going to get uh, some different shape, okay? And uh, if you're wondering how to add a border on this uh, image, well, worry no more because it's very easy. You just need to specify one more uh, modifier called the border. Then for the width, uh, we can specify maybe uh, 10 dp, let's say. Then for the color, we can add uh, color dot uh, cyan maybe. And now let's run this uh, app on our Android emulator once again so we can check that out. So now uh, you are not going to receive here an expected result. So our image uh, has this uh, corner radius of uh, 50 dp on uh, each and every side. But this border is actually drawn in the rectangular shape. And the reason why is because this uh, border function accepts the third parameter which is a shape. And its default value is a rectangular shape. So what we need to do here, we need to also specify a shape here. In our case a rounded corner shape the same as before. Let me just move those arguments on a separate lines. Okay, now let's add here 50 dp uh, again. So the same uh, shape uh, as in our clip uh, function right here. Let's run this app once again on our emulator. So now everything uh, should look perfect. Okay, so there we go. And of course, uh, you can specify uh, different shapes here as well. Now let's uh, try and use a circle shape on, uh, on both of those uh, functions. So here as well. Let's run our app once again. And uh, there you go. So that's how you can create a circular shape image with a Jetpack Compose. It's a very simple and you need only two lines of code. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment down below if you want to see more interesting videos about uh, Jetpack Compose in general. Uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful of course. And uh, see you in the next one.